Christian. Go Chris. Christian.
Dá-se, dá-se. Vai. Eu só tenho dois minutos. Era só três minutos, não dá. That's it. Okay, no, but I forgot. 
time in the Bronx, and Bruce Seals is pretty much wrapped up. The MAC Rookie of the Year Award. The Manhattan freshman winning his second straight Rookie of the Week Award, the third overall. Seals averaging almost 25 points a game against Canisius, Siena, and Loyola last week. Against Canisius, Seals setting a school record with nine three-pointers and an NCAA record with 27 three-point attempts. In high school, Kennedy clinching their second straight Bronx Division Championship dominates Gompers, the Knights unbeaten in division play this year. Elvis is in the building. Elvis Rivera, second game back since becoming eligible, making his presence felt. No look to Raymond Edwards, 13 for him. Knights scoring the first 10 points of the game. Gompers clawing the way back. On the run, it's Curtis Scott, the Halford McLeod. Slums at home, had 13, Gompers within four. But leading scorer, John Polanco, tough game. Hurt his ankle just before halftime, also the flu. The Knights pulled away in the second half. J.C. Mathis all over the board. Ten of them to go with 19 points. Second straight double-double for him. Kennedy wins back-to-back -back Borough Championships, 78-53. Try to come, on, come out them hard because they talk a lot of trash and they try to hurt people. So we try to take it to them as, as, possible, as much as possible as we can. It was hyped up. We lost the game mentally. I, didn't think, I, don't, I don't think we lost the game in the, in the court. We lost the, main, the game. Mentally, that's that's tough for us. We wanted to come in and establish that, you know, we're the number one team in the Bronx. And that uh, Gompers, they try to play real physical. And they really, I think, they don't really play fair a lot of plays. I think they really try to hit and go for your body and, and take you under while you're in the air. So we just wanted to get the game over quick. With the win, Kennedy now 20-2 and in a perfect 16-0 in league play. Gompers falling to 13-8, and 12-3 in the league. Bronx teams making national polls in both high school and college. St. Raymond's and Rice both still in the USA Today Top 25 high school basketball poll. Ravens up two spots to 17th. Raiders remaining at 23. And in college volleyball, the Mount St. Vincent men ranked 13th in the latest Division III national poll. The Dolphins are unbeaten this year. Wrestling. Truman beat Lincoln Tuesday in the PSAL team quarterfinals. 78-0, three forfeits and nine pins, three of them in less than 10 seconds. Lincoln two hours late getting to Truman from Brooklyn, and it took only 20 minutes for the 12 matches to be completed. Semifinals are Thursday. Boxing. Pee Wee Nazario having some trouble at the Eastern Regionals Olympic box off, beaten in the first round by an illegal blow. Nazario hit in the jaw and dropped after the referee called for a break. Ref ruled the blow illegal, but when Nazario couldn't continue, they awarded the fight to his opponent. They protested, but it was denied. Nazario looks to get back in the win column at the New York City Golden Gloves. He'll be in the ring next month looking for his second title. And you have to wonder if Christian Martinez went to McDonald's after his first round win at the National Silver Glove Championships this past weekend. The 12-year-old failing to make the 70-pound weight limit during weigh-in for the semifinals on day two. He is ranked fourth in the nation in the 70-pound weight class now, but he is moving to 75. That's going to do it in sports. I'm Ed Benjamin. News 12.